You know, a funny meeting held about you. The topic of discussion will make you laugh. Hear me out. And hello, everyone. I welcome you to the gospel with Ishmael. As uh, commonly as it is that I advocate or I go against laughing or undermining your enemies. Listen, it is also true. Sometimes you don't have to take your enemies serious. You just laugh at them. Why? Because they are not strong. It's just like how people like to say, a devil, the devil is a small thing. He's a small boy. I don't even pay attention. And actually, indeed, that sounds nice and real. But you know what's my problem with such utterances? Most people who say such are not prayerful. Most people who say such, they just cram scriptures, but they do not understand scriptures. Most people who say such, they just think they have faith, but they don't have faith. And the dangers of such is that you will say that and the enemy will come and try to combat you spiritually and find you to be weak and they will conquer you. Seven sons of Sceva, Acts chapter 19. They were behaving like such. In the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, get out. You see, they acted confident. But the Bible says, one day a demon responded and asked the question. Paul we know, Jesus we know, but who are you? And the moment they could no longer back up their faith, that is how they were defeated. Those demons beat them up, stripped them naked, and they went running naked and bleeding. So you see, you can bluff, but your bluff one day when the enemy fights back, that is when they're going to find out if you are as strong as you claim or not. That is why I quickly like to inflict that do have some sort of fear over your enemy. And it's not a fear of that they are superior than you know. It's the fear of giving them advantage over you if you don't stand up and pray. You get what I'm saying? That is why if you can know that spiritually you are sorted, you pray, you read the Bible, what, why should you worry now? You can even sleep peacefully. You can see something falling out of nothing. Like, ah, like they said, this other man of God, was it Smith Wigglesworth? Something like that. He once, something once happened and he found out it was the devil. He was like, oh, it's you, Satan. Ah, he went back to sleep. You see, that confidence is real. You can laugh even when they are gossiping. Even I, at times, when I hear what is being spoken behind my back, at times I just laugh. I don't even pay attention. I don't even care to pray about it. But that, you do it when you know spiritually you are sorted. You know you do pray. I remember at some point when I would have nightmares, I remember even telling my wife that I think that night, maybe that's why I had that nightmare. I did not pray that night when I went to sleep. So you see, I felt like my role is to pray. Anything, any battle that I face after I have prayed, I just believe I conquered. I just believe there was nothing I could do beyond. But if it happens, while I know I didn't pray, I accidentally slept without praying. I say it makes sense, maybe. So you see, so to keep my safe on the safe, si safe side, I have to pray as I am led. And once I do so, the rest is up to God and the Holy Ghost. All your enemies, don't fear them. Whatever they're planning against you, uh, it will be in vain. I pray over you in Jesus' name. Amen. And of course, now you can even book an appointment by texting me on WhatsApp. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.